Day 16, Matthew 5, 6 Prepare Who may ascend the hill of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. Before attempting to approach the presence of God, we must make sure we have clean hands and a pure heart. So begin today with a time of confession. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there's any offensive way in me. Ask God to reveal any sins in your heart that you've not confessed, then confess them and ask God to cleanse you. And especially ask him to reveal any anger or bitterness or unforgiveness that would keep you from being able to commune with God today. Psalm 119.36, turn my heart toward your statutes. Ask God to turn and incline your heart toward what he has for you in today's passage. Your deepest desire. What is the deepest, most driving desire in your heart today? Cry out to God for that. Matthew 5, 6, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Righteousness is defined as good deeds, internal and external, done out of obedience to Jesus Christ for the glory of God, that enable nearness to God. In other words, righteousness means to be right with God. Why do you think Jesus put the focus on hunger and thirst instead of just saying, blessed are the righteous? We often place the emphasis on being willing to do what is right or choosing to do what is right. But Jesus pointed us deeper than that, to our cravings and appetites. Take a moment to make an assessment of the cravings and appetites of your soul. Are there some appetites you need to repent of? Are there some appetites in you that honor Christ? Those are not natural, they're a gift. They are a sign that you have favor with God. Take a moment to thank God for those. Your body craves food for energy and pleasure. It craves water when your throat is dry. What would cause your soul to have similar sensations longing for righteousness.
What promise does God make to those who are hungry and thirsty for righteousness? Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. What a promise. The craving will be satisfied. You can crave a lot of things and never get them, but it is impossible for a person to crave righteousness and not get it. Talk to God about what it would look like for you to trust in that promise to the point where you live a life leaning on it and depending on it. What does this beatitude teach us about God? God is righteous, and He graciously bestows His righteousness on us and allows us to participate in that part of His nature. And even when we lack righteousness, God gives us credit just for wanting it. Praise God for those truths. Your appetites and desires are supposed to help you grow into greater righteousness but sometimes they rebel and work against you. Talk to God about what you might do today to begin to change any Judas appetites that are betraying you. Pray for others your pastor. Ask God to stimulate greater and greater thirst and hunger for righteousness in him. Pray the same for anyone else the Lord has laid on your heart. Pray for the kingdom of God to come and for his will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. More and more righteousness on earth. Thanksgiving. Delight yourself in the Lord. Think of two or three of the most wonderful blessings he has given you in the past month. Relive them and respond with gratitude for those expressions of his love. Take it with you. Pick one thought from this meditation that you want to carry with you.
What can you use as memory cues in the upcoming day to help you bring that thought to mind at least twice more today?